What is the orthodox thoughts on ordination of women to the priesthood or women as priests? First, I want to say that women are our mothers, sisters, and spiritual daughters. We respect and love them, and we give them responsibilities in our church, such as Sunday school teachers, deaconesses, event organizers, and the board of trustees as well, and much more. Also, the priest's wife holds a special place in our church because she assists him in his services, particularly when he baptizes adult women. However, she does not take his place, but rather accompanies him in completing his duties. We also have the responsibility of women who are given to them from the beginning. For example, Miriam, the sister of Moses, and Anna were prophetesses. Many women ministered to the Lord. They served him and donated from their money to his service. Despite this, we can find in the whole Bible one single example of a woman being a priest. When the Lord Jesus Christ chose the twelve apostles, they were all men, and the first priests and bishops consecrated by them were also men. If God had wanted to call women for priesthood, he would have done so in the same way as he called women to be prophetesses. If women were called to priesthood, the first woman in the world would have been the Virgin Mary, Mother of God. No woman in the world is more holy or worthy than St. Mary. Yet Virgin Mary was the spiritual mother of all the apostles, but she did not claim to be a priest. The church is a collection of the members of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every member performs a certain duty. This has nothing to do with the value and worth of every one of us. As in heaven, there is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Also Christ is the priesthood and the head of the church. He is also the spouse and husband of the church. Christ's visible priesthood in the church is fulfilled through the ordained priests. A woman in the priesthood would have to be presenting a revelation about the husband of the church. Do you not see how perverted and corrupt such as a revelation would be? I think it is better for a woman to remain a woman, to work in services, and handle responsibilities which are more suitable for a woman. A bird may sing a sweet song on a tree, and a lion may roar in the forest. If the bird tries to be a lion, it is not suitable. It is more beautiful for the bird to sing a sweet song than to roar like a lion. And if the lion tries to sing like a bird, it will not be acceptable. Remember that although women are not liturgical or ordained priests, all baptized Orthodox believers are a part of the royal priesthood because only the priesthood can partake of the things of the altar, and all are called to receive the Holy Communion. My beloved, let women be in the service of women and men in the service of men, because taking each other's roles does not make them equal. Men are not worth more than women, and women are not worth more than men. They are both equal in the eyes of the Lord, despite their differences. However, if we allow one or both of their roles to be distorted, we undermine their ultimate worth.